tomato grafting is done for multiple reasons. Uh, plant vigor, plant disease resistance, virus resistance, yield, and fruit quality. These all get improved with grafting tomatoes from a hardy rootstock onto your selected scion. Uh, the process includes taking a scion selection, your desired fruit cultivar that you're looking for, and grafting that onto a hardy rootstock. There are numerous rootstocks you can use, uh, anywhere from your classic beefsteak, your jet star tomatoes, uh, to design specific rootstocks. Uh, these ones are bred for their disease resistance and their plant vigor specifically uh, to increase your yields uh, is the turnout on that. One plant specifically used in uh, tomato grafting are the heirloom varieties. The older varieties that don't have the breeding qualities that they do with the newer varieties today, uh, they don't have the disease resistance or the virus resistance that most common tomatoes nowadays have. Um, and then they don't have the vigor. So grafting those heirlooms, those older varieties onto the newer rootstocks, you get those three characteristics. Uh, this is done by taking your rootstocks and your scion, growing them separately, and then after about two to three weeks after germination, you literally take the top half of the scion piece and the bottom half of the rootstock by cutting off the top half of the rootstock, and then you marry these together with using a grafting clip. Uh, these grafting clips then hold this plant in place for the duration of the healing portion. Uh, during that time, watering is not done. You should, watering should have been done prior to grafting, so that way the least amount of touching and moving of the plant is done. Once this is completed, once these plants get married together, the callus bridge is going to form and these plants are going to heal together. By that process, these translocated properties through disease resistance, virus resistance, and increased vigor through the rootstock get transferred up into the scion. After that point, the plants are then let to grow out and then get acclimated to the environment that they're going to be grown in for full term. After this point, the grafting clips will actually push themselves off after the girth of the plant increases. And once that's done, they can just be collected, cleaned off, and reused as many times as you want. One key important thing is the planting depth. You've got to be careful not to plant too deep, otherwise you're going to bury that graft union below the soil line and then the scion piece is just going to root out on its own and you're going to lose all the properties from that rootstock.